Okay, students, so to, I want to go over some of these labs with you because I think it's important that you, um, that we, that you, I go, uh, you understand how to do the lab. So the first lab, lab one, is really mainly about um, entering data into uh, Minitab. So let's start with bringing up Minitab. And now we're going to enter in those numbers. Now, I want you to notice that this top gray box is for a name. So we're going to call this, this, this first set of data, I'm going to call it P1 for problem 1. And now I'm going to enter in the data, 98.6, and then you hit Enter. As long as this, this arrow here goes down, when you hit Enter, it goes down. And then another 98.6, Enter. 98, notice I don't have to put in the point zero. 99. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant, uh, there's, now, notice, I made a mistake. So I was supposed to put in two 98s. Just click back on there and put another 98 in. 99. 98.4. 98.4. 98.4. 98.4. 98.4. And 98.6. And all you're supposed to do is do that and then save the data. You can save the data by going to File, Save Worksheet as. Say Project saves both the top and the bottom. There's two environments in Minitab. This is called the Session Window. This is called the Worksheet. I usually um, save just the Worksheet because it's the data that takes the time to put in. It's easy for me to do the Minitab. Um, procedures again, but um, if you so if you go to File, Save Project As, you save both the top window and the bottom window. Save session. Win, save. Okay, now this is active. You go to Save Worksheet As, and I can save the worksheet to any to a, a, a jump. All right, now transforming the data. Now what we're going to do for no, part number two is we're going to transform data, and you transform data by going to Calculator. I'm going to store the result in C2, and my expression is going to be C2 is equal to 5 divided by 9, 5 ninths, times, and then I can do C1, can I just click there, C1, minus 32, and hit OK. And there's all of the, this is problem two. Now, so I go up in the top and I can, I can see what's problem two. Number three asks us to generate some random data. So let's learn how to generate data. So if I go to Calc, no, I'm sorry, go to, go to Calc, Random Data, select Integer, which is right here. I want to generate 500 rows. I want to store this in C3. My minimum value is 1, and my maximum value is 6. And what I see here is what I'm really getting is um, the a, a simulated experiment of rolling a six-sided die 500 times. OK. so. I'm going to call this one die since I know that that's what this really is. Now, the only answer that you really need to um, input here is in number three, and you're supposed to count the number of times the five has appears. So here's one, but we don't want to really go through 500 rows of data to count the five. So there's an easier way to do that. Let's go to Stat, Tables, Tally Individual Values. Click in this, and I want the counts, and I click OK. And I had 88 fives in my 500 rolls of this pretend die. You you may have another number, so just enter that in for number three. The rest of the of the lab is completely um, just for you practicing putting data in. There's really nothing for you to do but just add that the number of fives in number three, then save. Um, either handwrite the number in and um, scan it as a PDF or download the Minitab Lab as a Word document and just um, type in the, eight, the 88 or whatever number you have 
and um, save it and then upload it to the portal under Minitab Lab 1. That's the end of Minitab Lab 1. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.